hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you about the asp.net mvc selectors action selectors are attribute that can be applied to action method and are used to influence which action method get invoked in response to a request it helps the routing engine to select the correct action method to handle a particular request it play a very crucial role when you are writing your actions method the selector will decide the behavior of the method invocation based on the modification in name given in front of the action method it is usually used to alias the name of the action method there are three type of action selector attributes action name non-action and action one in this video tutorial we will play with action name the class represent an attribute that is used for the name of an action it is allow developer to use different action name than the method name uh, let's take a look here uh, in my student controller okay so here is the student controller <coughs> uh, let's apply the action name selector for the uh, get method okay uh, or the get action listener by writing simply uh, the name of action uh, from here let's remove it and type as action name okay so and in parenthesis the name of action for example get action and uh, we have done now okay so the name of get it become get action uh, now execute the code here simply click now when the application is run the URL will be changed into home uh, sorry student then get action instead of student get uh, like here uh, we are calling student get will change by act uh, this is the URL and we have changed the URL into get action so now the get will be not called like this it will call like get action and now hit enter so you will receive this message and if you will call only the get so it will give you the error but why giving the error when the action name is get because we have changed the name of action okay so now the name of get become the get action such like this uh, you can change the name of index into something else like whenever we uh, refresh our browser okay uh, like here I will stop the code and whenever we will refresh our browser uh, it will lead us to the like stop it and execute it will lead us to the student controller and index action okay uh, now what I will do is the index action simply change the name of index action by action name replicate here replace it okay it's working stop it replace the name into index action and now execute and it will show you the error because in the control in the configuration of route i have declared that uh, student have the index action result but uh, the action result name is changed from index to index action that's why the action will not found and it will showing the error but what if i will change the route okay uh, now I will copy the name here uh, copy the name from here 
and uh, go to the app start here is the route config and in route config I will say it's the action and now execute the controller and now it will not give me the error because the renaming of can uh, action convention uh, is successfully set up and now it will redirect it to the action name as index action i hope this video tutorial is informative for you regarding the action name if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel to get more amazing video tutorials on asp.net mvc application development take care